So my name's Susan, um, I live very close by so I've lived in Gipton for about 20 years. I have four children, three small children um, and I own my own cleaning business. What would you like to see change or improve in your local area? What I'd like in the area is we have a park near us which is Gipton Square, we're Gipton Square. I've not seen that regenerated in all the time that I've been there, which is a massive open space, but I think it's just being left. Uh, we also have a community centre which is off of South Farm Road. That doesn't seem to be used and I found that throughout the pandemic, even though I was asked to stay indoors, uh, there was nothing really around for the general people in the area to sort of communicate around, you know, again. So basically in December 2020, I set up a Facebook group, which uh, is called the Gibson and Heralds. Uh, and we was helping families uh, getting Christmas presents, food parcels. And I felt that I know where I am now, they were doing food parcels here, but I felt like people generally came to me because they knew me of the area, so they knew what I was about and that, you know, so they felt a lot at ease. I feel like coming out of the pandemic, we've got a lot of mental health issues. Basically, people are scared of coming out, they're scared of the virus, um, they're scared of sending the kids to school. A lot of children are out of school routine, having late nights. I feel the children have suffered the most uh, because they've missed out on a lot of activities, outside activities, school friends, social friends. Um, and it's going to take us a long time to recover from it. I feel that people who are on benefits need a bit more support and help regarding training, getting back into work. Uh, definitely that park on the Gipton Square needs repairing. There's so much outside space there. I feel like there should be, there should be a football team in the area, uh, a netball team, you know, a lot more out there for children to be able to access at a minimum cost because this is why children don't have activities because everything's so expensive and you know we should be giving, there should be some free activities there in this local area. It's been generally hard for everybody and I do feel like even me, myself, my health, mental health has struggled throughout the time. I mean, I'm okay, but I think I'm quite a strong person. There's a lot of people out there who are as strong as me and are really are still quite suffering through it all. Yeah. And it's finding them people who, you know, are probably hit behind the doors and we don't even know that they're there. What would you ask or tell the people in charge of people like councillors, council officers, parks managers and so forth? Uh, what would you ask them? About making changes. Instead of sat in an office, they need to be more out here, they need to see what's going on really. The area should be run by the people and not run by the council. The council should be supporting the people to run the area and I think if they did that, the area would be in such a better state, it would be such a better place if people were able to have a voice.